Yeah, you say Death at a Funeral is a pretty dark comedy. Can you give us a bit more of an insight into what we can expect? Um, it's about a family gathering to go to a funeral in a, a picturesque English village and basically what unfolds is a very heightened story. It starts off with a man, uh, my fiancé, um, being, I give him mistakenly some hallucinogenic drugs which I think are Valium to calm him down. What did you just say? I said that the Valium you gave to Simon wasn't actually Valium. It's an hallucinogenic concoction. You know, stuff like acid, mescaline, a little ketamine. This is a funny try. I'm not being funny, look at him, he's off his tits. We turn up to this funeral so he's already starting to lose the plot and everybody else is trying to just be respectful at the funeral and it starts to unfold. I'm so sorry, Aunt Sandra, we're going to miss Uncle Edward terribly. Yeah, he was, he was a great guy. Yes, he was. Simon, this is my... Oh. Yeah, this is him. <laughs> so sorry about the death. Uh, <laughs> and everything. <laughs> it uses the funeral as a reason to bring all these characters together and they, uh, you know, a comedy ensues of hilarity. You're sort of in character and you're, he's re, he looked really uncomfortable doing it, you know, mm -hmm. he, because, you know, his character was someone who would never take drugs. He played, you know, he's in a suit and it's, you know, it's slightly tight at the neck and he's going red and red and so, I mean, it was kind of, Worrying, as opposed to, and 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 Frank Oz, the director, was very, is a strong believer in it. You have to be honest, so you can't kind of be like eye rolling. <laughs> I know what you're doing. You know, it was completely got. You know, the reality was, as if you were someone who's starting to to trip and they don't know that they're doing it, and you know, um, it's trying to maintain it. Or you know, and it, it, you know, and he's in the middle of a funeral where you're trying to impress people with him, and he's completely about to ruin everything. See, up in your eyes, there's someone moving around in there. Can't you do it? Simon, stop it! Simon, don't touch it! Simon, don't touch it! What are you doing? Get out of here, Simon! Have you had any personal moments, like memorable, funny moments from weddings, funerals, christening? Some good speeches. You know, speeches, I quite like it when the speeches are so inappropriate that everybody at the table starts looking at each other like, oh, make it stop, make it stop. Um, I've been to a couple of those. One of them uh, was about a guy who effectively apparently been a drug dealer. <laughs> and everybody's going, congratulations on your wedding. <laughs> um, so, you know, that kind of thing, yeah. yeah. Daisy Does America's been a big hit. What's kind of the most, the funniest moment that you've had or the bizarrest experience you've had? Um, a bizarre experience was I went to quite a dodgy town and it was an entire sort of biking convention and that was quite scary. Mm. Um, what kind of Hells Angels? Hells or? Angels and this woman came up to me and she's like, hey what you doing here honey? And it was like nothing, <laughs> not one thing. Do I have to fool around here with these guys? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so those kind of things, just random places in America where I'd find myself and think what am I <laughs> Have you ended up living in the States for a bit? I did, yeah. How did you say same? It's, you know, you do when you have to go into sort of shops and ask for them to get out the size 12 jeans from the back of the shop. <laughs> because I know you don't have them on display. <laughs> you know, it's like black market. Could I get the larger jean? <laughs> um, no, you, and you know, but you suddenly find yourself feeling completely normal asking for a protein burger, which is just a burger wrapped in lettuce. Okay. You think, of course. No bread. No bread. And you would be wrong to ever order a pudding. You just don't. As I'm eyeing the apple crumble, no, I don't want that. <sighs> With all my heart, I want it. <laughs> um, and just finally, which comedian inspires you most? Or has done it? Uh, Judy Walters. Uh, Victoria Wood type thing. Why? Just brilliant, funny women, clever. Uh, Judy Walters, brilliant actress, as is Victoria Wood, but just women who I've always kind of... I couldn't even aspire to be them, I just watch and admire. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.